Konnichiwa, Mina, this is Kurt, and you're watching Pocket Cons. Today's 10 minute first person video is going to be on a PS2 game, and that is American Chopper 2 Full Throttle. Really excited to give this one a try, the other one was interesting, so I'm excited to see how this one's going to work and differ from the first game. As always, 10 minutes to play the game, first time playing a game, a version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Time to start it, and away we go. Real quick, this game is one player. Takes 85 to save, and has... Oh, this one actually has pressure sensitive. Hmm, that's interesting. Paul Senior, so we get all of the other peoples. Okay, let's do Paul Senior. I just hope that at least the driving's really good because that's always a nice one. Assemble, fabricate, paint, missions, showroom, save game, character, extras, exit, assemble. Okay. Well, let's get into it. Would you like to. Do you want a bike assembled for you? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. So here's where you'd actually change everything. And... Let's go ahead and use that, because I'd like to get to the driving and try out the driving. Okay, fabrication. Okay. Oh, I can't do anything from here. Oh, I have no points available. Okay. Further. <laughs> They're just having quotes from the show randomly come out of nowhere. Ooh, I like that. Okay, the front. I use as much purple as I can. And it doesn't work. Oh well. Yeah. Pedals. Okay, let's get some green in there. Yeah, let's make a Joker bike. I know, these are like the same colors that I use all the time, but I don't care. There we go. Okay. This is the gold for matches. Nothing there. Handlebars. We'll make those green. Okay, it's starting to get annoying. They're usually literally using like five different phrases. That's annoying. I can change the tire color. Oh. Brakes. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Seat. What colors can I make the seat? That works. A 
I'll make that to, to a dark green maybe? Or would the purple look better? Purple is probably going to look the best. But let's do that. Make this one dark green. Alright, I like that. Okay. Engine. Let's see what color we can make this. Oh. That looks like all we can do. Okay. Sweet. Introduction, you know, so I'll prove to Paul that you still have a riot chopper. Okay, let's do this. Yes, my custom hideously looking bike. <laughs> this looks horrible. Okay, Cobra like speed. Makes you feel young. Okay. That's funny. <laughs> those two were al those two are always fun to watch. All right, so we'll see how the other controls work and then. We get a lot of customization in here, so that's pretty good. But it looks like you have to actually earn points to upgrade your bike. Okay. Paul Jr. plays ironware items along the tunnel. Prove you're still in good shape and collect 160 points. After that, go see Paul to race against him. Paul Jr. will appear on your map. When, okay. Ooh, nice. Car! Oh. Okay. Dang it! Oh, I just killed the main character of the show. Dad gum. Oh. The controls work nice. It's arcade controls, my favorite. Turn around because apparently we gotta go down here. Okay, collected everything. Now I just gotta go and defeat Paul in a race. But I only have 30 seconds, of course, to beat him. Time is running out! Whoa! Nitro. Okay. Why is there a timer? Why does it have to be? Okay, it's a challenge mode. You suck. Okay. 
apparently I want to go back to the garage because I might be able to keep all those pieces I just earned. Then hopefully it will improve my bike. So, I don't know. Okay, let's just go to the showroom. Okay, there goes the timer. Okay. Well, I'm really happy to say that the controls are what I prefer. And I love just how... How much customization you have. I also like that there are several other bikes we get here to try out. So that's really good. It makes me very curious to see. Oh, dang it. So we got four bikes to start with. If completing the uh, challenges, we get pieces to improve our bike. Because if that's how it's going to work, then I'm really excited. Um, yeah, there's just so much you get to do in here that it's going to make it a lot of fun and make it really a, a personal motorcycle game and that's what the whole point of this one is i'm happy to see that they've got a second game and i can't remember exactly what was in the first game because it's, it's been so long so you can't say what uh improvements they've made but the point that we get to enjoy and have fun with it is always good you know very important and it's going to be one of those games that will be just enjoyable but it looks like the missions are going to be no easy walk in the park they're going to make you work for it so that's going to be difficult but at least you'll feel like you did something. Hopefully the game doesn't go cheap cheap on us and actually allows us to um, do it. I do like the th how they're trying to keep it at least a little authentic by, you know, it is in Orange County, so there's going to be other cars on the road, so makes sense. Not something that takes away from the game at all. So I like that. So this will be just another fun game to have to, you know, pull out and enjoy with people question for you guys would be do you enjoy the um customization uh racing games if you will and if so what are some of your favorite uh customization racing games and i have to say my absolute favorite was mod racers mod racers for ps3 was the absolute best racing game, in my opinion. I mean, people were creating courses from other racing games on there. You got uh, racers, you had your carts, you know, it's just so much to do. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Fun! And... You could lose hours on end with everything you can, with that game. Runner up to that was definitely a little big planet karting, which also was phenomenal, but never hit the status that uh, mod racers had, in my personal opinion. But I mean, come on, Nintendo, you have the perfect opportunity. Those two games are no longer around and haven't been re-released to the PS4. So, I mean, let's think about it. Your Mario Maker is amazing right now, okay? What does everybody want? A Mario Kart Maker. Can you just imagine that? A Mario Kart Maker. And it allows you to choose, you know... If you could, you know, since they let you choose with graphics, but can you just imagine that Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, or Game Boy Advance, or 
DS or Wii or, you know, whichever ones they want to choose, but still. Oh. The things we could make in that would be out of this world. Nintendo, I hope you're listening to that. You should do it. Everybody wants more of Mario Maker, but they want the other games to receive that same treatment. I mean, you did make it for um, F-Zero X on the Nintendo 64. Just you had to have the other device to do it. So, yeah. Um, that was that was personally my favorite, is the Mod Racer. It's just... You can't go wrong with it. It was just absolutely phenomenal. And it was really sad when they shut down all the servers. Oh, just uh, There's so much to do in there. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys uh, like and if there's any others that I should know about. Definitely would love to hear it and I uh, would try it out. Now I just need to get Pimp My Ride for I can enjoy that one. Thank you guys for watching. This is Tisa Kurosing. Ciao and sayonara.